Hello. Can you listen to my voice? Yes, sir. Okay. So before we start, make yourself comfortable. After a minute, we will start the interview. Okay. Okay, sir. So tell me what is HTML? Sir, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Uh, basically, it is used for creating web page and HTML basically uh, describe the structure of a web page. Okay. Tell me about uh, semantic tags in HTML. Uh, so semantic tags are basically those tags which have some meaning. So uh, by reading the name of the tags, we can understand the purpose of the tag. Uh, for example, there is a header tag by the name we can understand it is generally for uh, creating a header. There is a form tag. So by uh, reading the name, we understand that uh, it is there in HTML for creating forms and table tag is there. So by uh, reading the name, we can know that it is there for creating tables. So these are the semantic tags. Okay, so tell me what is CSS? So CSS is a cascading style sheet. Basically, it is used for styling the web pages. It describes how the uh, elements will look on the web page. Okay. So are you aware about uh, the CSS box model? Can you explain me what is a CSS box model? Sure, sir. Uh, sir, CSS box model uh, says that all the HTML elements are contained by a box or are uh, covered by a box and that box is the box model and the box has some properties like uh, there is padding, there is border there and there is margin and there is a uh, main content. So basically, for example, uh, I can give an example of a input field. So if there is an input box, uh, inside the input box at the area in which we write the text, that is the main content. And the area around the main content means the area between the main content and the border is the padding. And the uh, border is the uh, area around the padding and the final is the margin so margin is the area which covers the padding or basically we can say that margin is the distance between uh, two borders so it is okay okay so tell me uh, have you used display property like uh, display none is there and uh, visibility none is there can you explain me what is the difference between display none and uh, visibility hidden uh, yes sir sir one is display none and another is visibility hidden so basically when we use display none in that case the particular element is hidden from the web page also the space is also uh, space is not there so space is also removed from the page and when we set the property as visibility hidden in that case the item or the uh, element is hidden but the space taken by the element is visible so for example uh, i can say that i have aligned three images uh, in a single line and so there is uh, like first image image one is there then image two is there and then image three is there so they are aligned in a line and suppose i want to apply visibility hidden property to image two in that case we will see that image two had disappeared but the space taken by image two is still there so we will see a space between image one and image three so image two space will be there but when we set the property display none to image 2 in that case we will see that image 3 have moved towards image 1 
दैट मीन्स इट हैज टेकन द स्पेस ऑफ इमेज टू एंड देर इज नो गैप बिटवीन इमेज वन एंड इमेज थ्री दैट मीन्स द स्पेस बिटवीन द स्पेस कंटेन बाई इमेज टू इज ऑल्सो रिमूव एज वी सेट द डिस्प्ले प्रॉपर्टी टू नन ओके गुड गुड सो नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन एंड टेल मी वट इज रियक्ट सर रियक्ट इज बेसिकली जावा स्क्रिप्ट फ्रेमवर्क विच वॉज डेवलप बाई फेसबुक टू बिल्ड सिंगल पेज एप्लीकेशंस ओके टेल मी द फीचर्स ऑफ रियक्ट ओके सर सर द फीचर्स फर्स्ट फीचर इज दैट रिएक्ट प्रोवाइड कंपोनेंट रियूजिबिलिटी सो वी कैन यूज कंपोनेंट्स रियूज कंपोनेंट एज मैनी एज टाइम वी वांट एंड सेकंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वर्चुअल डोम सो बेसिकली देयर इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वर्चुअल डोम which speeds the uh, speed ups the react and cre- increase the performance of the react applications thirdly there is one way data binding uh, the data can be only sent from uh, the parent component to a child component and uh, uh, jsx is uh, used in react so these were the features of react okay uh, you said jsx na Tell me what is JSX? Sir, JSX basically stand for JavaScript and XML. In JSX, uh, we write JavaScript and XML together in a same file. Like in React, there is uh, uh, generally the function components return the HTML, uh, yeah, the HTML code. and the html codes decides how the component will look in the web page so uh, it is jsx okay so react uses jsx so can the browser directly read the jsx or is there something done to the jsx uh, no sir the browser cannot directly uh, read jsx because the browser is meant to read the regular javascript objects and jsx is not a regular javascript object it is a combination of javascript plus xml so firstly the jsx is converted to regular javascript object by a converter known at known as bevel so it converts the uh, jsx to javascript regular javascript objects and then the browser reads it so it is how it is done so okay one of the feature you said a virtual dom in react tell me what is a virtual dom and how it works okay sir so basically virtual dom is a carbon copy of the real dom or we can say it is a light uh, representation of the real dom so when any change need to be made to the real dom in that case first those changes are made to the uh, virtual dom and then the virtual dom and the real dom are compared so that we can find out that which component have been changed so as soon as we come to know which component have been changed only those component of the real dom are changed so this way the virtual dom works and improve the performance of the application this is it sir okay 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 so now tell me uh, you have heard about es5 and es6 standards tell me what is the difference among them uh, sir es5 and Uh, this is only uh, syntax difference between ES five and ES six. The way of writing the React code have been changed from ES five to ES six. Uh, like in ES five, for importing any library or importing a component, we used to uh, call the required function. But now in ES six, 
वी कैन जनरली राइट द इम्पोर्ट की वर्ड टू इम्पोर्ट द कंपोनेंट सर ओनली दिस मच आई नो ओके सो बेसिकली सिंटेक्स चेंजेस आर देयर बिटवीन ई एस फाइव टू ई एस सिक्स ओके गुड टिल नाउ सो आई हैव अ लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू टेल मी अबाउट इवेंट्स इन रिएक्ट वट आर इवेंट्स sir uh, if i talk about events then in easy words we can say that uh, events are those actions which are triggered by some user section suppose if the user clicks in that case an event is triggered and if uh, uh, the user presses a keyboard mouse keyboard key in that case a trigger uh, a event is triggered like on clicking the on click is Uh, on click event is triggered or uh, submitting a form uh, on submit event is triggered and while loading a page on load is uh, triggered so these are the events so we can say uh, events are basically actions triggered by user section okay good so if you it was the last question i have so i have finished do you have any questions for me